WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien today, giving you an afternoon update here these last three minutes of the day. Uh, well, towards the end of the day here, we have uh, sold off rapidly here in the Dow Jones, down about over 200 points right now, S&P down about 10, and the uh, NASDAQ actually just went negative just a few minutes ago, and also the Russell just went negative. So it's going to be a negative close here on the market today, even though the bond market and Treasury note markets uh, held up relatively well today. The U.S. dollar was uh, basically uh, slightly higher, but not by very much. But that pushed gold up $30 at one point during the day. Our low had been 1810, and we got all the way up to 1838 and a half. And silver moved 60 cents to the upside. So some type of a, at least a small uh, bottom has been made here in both gold and silver from looking at the technical charts. The other markets, of course, uh, were the grain markets, which are under a great deal of pressure. Uh, soybeans down uh, 25 to 30 cents, meal down 1,200 bucks, and uh, even the soybean oil, which has been holding up relatively well, was down uh, only marginally. Corn was down, and wheat continues to make new lows. Folks, it's hard to believe. I know most of you folks are not stock traders, but just three months ago, wheat was making a new high at $13 a bushel. That would put bread around $5 a loaf, and now it's one half that price. We've gone from 15 down to seven. We're almost ready to break $6.99 wheat to the downside, folks. That's a 50% retracement in three months in an area of like Crimea, which is the breadbasket of Ukraine, that it's in the midst of a, you know, a winter getting ready for their spring planning, and yet they are planning less than they did last year, and that should mean prices should go up. But in fact, prices are going down. So supply demand works some of the time, but it doesn't work all of the time. That's why our goal here is to trade what you see, not what you think. Because what you see is if prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. That's all you really need to know. The rest of it is cannon fodder, folks. So keep that in mind. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. And we'll see you all tomorrow on the sunny side of Wall Street. Sharpen